Hey what's up guys, Sir Carlitis like here, and today I want to talk about the new Dragon Ball Z game, Dragon Ball Project Moti. Now I don't have a script for this, I just want to go ahead and talk about it, just give my like impressions on it, how it plays, how it feels, and, and yeah, just do stuff like that. Now, it is a MOBA game, it is similar to League of Legends, so if you guys haven't played League of Legends before, or any other MOBA games, it is similar to that, it's similar to like a League of Legends. So if that's not your forte, you're probably not going to like the game, and yeah, it's really team based, so if you never played like a MOBA game, game it's very team based like you have your tank and you have your like like uh, uh attacker and stuff like that so if you don't like mobas you're probably not going to enjoy this but i think oh, personally the animations look great the game look amazing i'm going to go ahead and dive into it now you have different type of uh variants again you have the attack you have the tanks you have the support and stuff like that uh i'm pretty sure goku and piccolo falls under the attack uh vegeta probably do too i didn't unlock him yet i didn't get a chance to unlock a lot of other characters like i know you can use trunks and android 18 and you have Majin Buu, but i didn't get a chance to really unlock them i didn't really get a chance to like fully flesh out everything but i just want to give like my first impression on playing it now one of the things i really want to mention and call out is that the animations and the style looks really flawless this is how dragon ball z games should look going further on this looks really really stunning from the transformations to just the character designs it is really really cool it's dope that you can have like different outfits and costumes Costumes. like you can have like the bad man vegeta you can have like goku during the cell games when he was like kind of like waiting uh around you have the one where he's like he has like the the, the driving school filler episode if you ever seen that he has that like outfit on it's pretty pretty cool it's pretty pretty dope i think the game gives a lot of variety to the characters and to the respective characters and there's different color schemes and and, and all that i was actually shocked to see zamasu make it in like the the beta i was actually shocked i thought they would have put somebody else in there or plug somebody else in there but seeing as zamasu zamasu excuse me was in there was really 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 dope now let's just go ahead and touch on to the actual gameplay of it then the gameplay of it is really really cool you can use keyboard or you can use controller i thought that was pretty dope most mobiles you only can use keyboard but you being able to use a controller on this was really really cool really really dope the uh controls kind of adjust to whatever you're using whether it's keyboard or controller i know when i used when i played it the first few matches i used keyboard and i used controller to see which one was different i found myself to have more fun with the controller because you know i'm so used to controller i don't really play keyboard and mouse i'm gonna be honest with you but the controller one yeah that, that was my twist that's my control scheme now for those who don't play mobas you have to understand that you have to be like the little like enemies to like power up your character like i'll just go i'll just go through it give like a crash course pretty much like a short description on what it is so you choose whatever character you want to do whether it's tank or attack or etc then you go ahead is, is like little enemies on the map and it's a 4v4 battle uh so you attack the enemies so you can raise your character up you can do different attacks and moves and stuff like that and when you build your character up their attacks hit harder they you know they you can train like on this one you can transform to super saiyan with goku when you like kind of build your attack up you can strengthen up your kamehameha you can strengthen up your spare bomb you can do a lot of these things with just like doing that and then you still have like the other enemies you got to watch out for and there's still objective points that you got to hit like you have to destroy the god of destruction there's different god of destructions you have to hit and you you kind of like want to break those down they have like zeno that shows up and he kind of like helps out and aids out on both sides and then like different maps i guess different maps are different people that you choose they can summon uh great ape gohan i know i've seen that like two times on my playthrough and every time we killed them honestly i don't know what <laughs> i don't know what people thought but like i i'm i'm good at this mobile shit i'm gonna be honest with you but yeah it's really a team-based game uh it's really good to play with friends or even if you play with random people it's good to communicate and by like, okay if you see someone being attacked sometimes you gotta play tank like i know like one round i played with zamasu and i was a tank and i think that was pretty fun but uh yeah it's one of those games where you have to like kind of focus on like the team setting and all that what do i think most dragon Ball Z fans would like enjoy this game probably not because i don't think they like the moba mode but if you do you would absolutely enjoy this and you absolutely love it personally i've been loving this game this game has been really really fun i've been, I've been getting a lot of hours out of it honestly <laughs> I, 
I've been way too invested into this. I, at first, when I first seen it, I was like, okay, it looks nice. Let me see how it plays. But I've been way too invested in this. So yeah, I just wanted to give like a hands-on review of every short one. I didn't want to make it super long-winded and all that. But yeah, this is a uh, Dragon Ball Project Moti. It looks amazing. It's really, really fun to play. Uh, I'm really hyped when it comes out to the actual release to see if me and my homies can get on here, make some good content and stuff like that. So yeah, just wanted to drop like a hands-on impression video since I seeing that I was able to get in there early. Um, yeah, what are your impressions on it from the gameplay or just do will you get it? Will you buy it? Will you play it? I want to hear you guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you guys. I'm Sir Khalid and I will see you in the next one. Peace.